Erica, give them your uh, website so they can go and do what I did, which is go and actually see this. It, yes. It, it's just, it really is phenomenal. Yeah. And so our, we have a whole playground page right on our website. Our website is www.rescueranch.com. And then if you do uh, backslash, forward slash. Uh, sorry, forward slash <laughs> playground, <laughs> playground, that's our whole page. You'll see our digital brochure on there in a flip book form. You'll see pictures of the schematic and the design, what it'll look like. And we'll, we're pro- this is, yeah. this oh, is radio, so you've got to say that one more time. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> www.rescueranch.com forward slash playground and okay. there all the information you need and the link at the very bottom to donate and we definitely are still in need of funding um, there's great naming opportunities um, i think we even have some benches left there's some big pieces with fun names like oodle swing and Ooh. and uh <laughs> see and, corporations out there you better be listening this is a wonderful opportunity yep. to wrap your arms around a very very worthy cause definitely well, and there will be a welcome sign listing all the donors for the project and well, we the will, one thing that's really yeah. important to note about this playground is this will actually be the only inclusive playground in all of Iredell County. So currently there is not one. So I mean, when you go and, and when you go to a website and look at it, I uh, I was impressed. I want to go play I did myself. Too. <laughs> you can come. Uh, field trip. It's time for a I'm field trip. I'm a big trip. man. You... I don't know if I can fit in some of that stuff. Oh, but, uh, oh, we'll, yeah. we'll make sure you have fun on that zip line. <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah. push you down. <laughs> 66 feet long. <laughs> no, okay, so I'm sure that, you know, you since you've already broken ground, you've kind of, you know, done a lot of PR pieces and things of that nature. Are you going to have like a, a ribbon cutting to the public? I'm I mean, sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, as long as construction stays on schedule. Yeah, when, when, are, we, when are we thinking about? Because Joe and I really want to do a field trip. Yeah. Um, we have a ribbon cutting scheduled for Saturday, June 3rd. You're kidding. Nope. Okay. I can't wait. Because our summer we're camps kick off calendar. this summer, and so we want that done in time for that. Yeah. We have dis- uh, children with disabilities camps happening, so right. that playground needs so to be So y'all stay pretty bigged up, don't you? I mean, it's been... We don't really have a downtime. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you know, that speaks a lot to the programs, mm-hmm. though, and I, I you know, yes, you've got absolutely. to really understand that, that because, yeah. I mean, the competition, let's be honest, the competition is tough here. Yeah. There's, you know, a lot of really very impressive camps, and right. for you all to stay completely booked is just mm-hmm. a really, you know, that's, that, that speaks a lot. Yeah, and that's part of the reason why we also didn't want to phase out this campaign because it yes. meant downtime for our programs. And we stress right. on we the just animals. need to go for it. This playground mm-hmm. will be built, it's built very close to okay. our agricultural center. Joe and I want to know about the animals because <laughs> we, we love animals. <laughs> So we, Talk we, about the chickens. Me, tell me about all the uh, things that you've got there. The chickens are truly free range. Yesterday they were <laughs> hanging out with the steer, and today who knows where they are. But um, we have a wide variety. A lot of people will uh, aren't sure what we have and like to assume that you're going to walk in and just see fields and fields of dogs running everywhere, which is not crazy to think that someday that might happen. But as for now, we actually have no dogs or cats. Oh, okay. That was done purposefully because most children have interacted with a dog and or a cat. Right. And so we started with everything else. So um, birds, bunnies, snakes, iguanas, geckos, prairie dogs, hedgehogs, steer, um, p- uh, Vietnamese potbelly pigs, sheep, goats, miniature horses, chickens, turkeys, <laughs> um, a donkey. I'm trying to think what I'm missing because there's we have over 80 animals currently that reside at the rescue ranch. Oh, wow. And they are permanently adopted by us. Good. Those okay. animals that we have now have been permanently adopted into our education programs. So they are specifically there to be used in our education programs for children to learn about them. Okay. Well, I've got a crazy question. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it, it involves the money as well. Mm-hmm. But, you know, okay, yeah. always need it's more. always about the money, right? Okay, always so, need more. Yeah. yeah, but the truth is, you know, you've got these 80 animals that have been fully mm-hmm. adopted. What about giving people uh, an opportunity to adopt an animal? So you we know, have like, lots of well, people we can reference to. Like I said before, there's wonderful groups doing that. In our future plans, there will be uh, an adoption, a foster I mean, we adoption could go to program. The, we could go to the, you know, the rescue ranch and say, you see that? That, that horse is mine. Yeah, no. <laughs> this we is will happily, nice horse. Not right now, but <laughs> we eventually, We will happily yeah. and kindly tell you that horse currently is not. Um, <laughs> they Dang will live it. out our lives. We always tell parents, currently we are a very safe place to bring them to meet animals because nothing is going home with them. Well, <laughs> I know, so, but, you know, well, that would but probably, down the road, I'm thinking, yes. if Sally Sue knew that, you know, we, we saved all of our money and mm-hmm. we wanted to, you know, there's the, the giving program. Programs, you know, like yes. the compassion and the things of that nature, you know, where you can give and you can donate to a tribe and you can donate chickens or cows or mm-hmm. things of that nature. You know, I didn't know if you all had thought about something like that, because at that 
point, you know, there's Sally Sue and her friends, you know, well, for birthday parties, instead of, you know, giving a gift, you know, bring a donation, you know, instead. Absolutely. And, and yeah, and we, we do, do that. which is okay. nice. And we have we a wonderful um, Or feed list the animals because there's 80 of them. <laughs> right. Our, yeah. Who it, really like to eat at least yes, once a day. At least. Oh, my gosh. Animal care takes a that? lot. The food and vet it bills. It does. And that's well, that's emergency services. For yeah. Well, Megan, let's talk a little bit about the the... How can somebody participate if I've got a company, maybe a team-related event or uh, a, a school? Or to Talk a little bit about how, how they would go about doing that if they wanted to try and create a program or put something together with you guys or book some type of event with you guys. Okay, yeah. we So we, we'd love to have volunteers. We're working with a lot of companies that are coming next week, which is great for the build. Um, we do have enough people next week. We've been very lucky to have a plethora of people coming, but there are going to be future projects, especially with this playground for beautification, you know, planting bushes around the project, flowers. We always need help with animal care. Um, so we, we are looking to actually bring in more companies to help, and we want to make it fun for them like, and make it as a team-building event. Oh, um, nice, so nice. I would say they can contact any one of us online, but my, my information is on the Playground site, on, the, on our webpage. If they want to send me an email, just let me know that they're interested in coming, and then we can start talking well, about, I, with them about what they'd like to do. And, and actually, my, my, my question was more, and I, I've, I've got some, some interest in occupational therapy business mm-hmm. with a bunch of children. We probably have a three to 400 kids that, that we'll see in, in any given week. And so the, the concept or what was going through my mind is, what if I wanted to have a program for Have them? a program okay. and bring them. So because that, this is something that we had talked about for years, mm-hmm. which is adding this type of a program, uh, th- this type of a, a playground to the facility, but mm-hmm. it's really expensive. expensive. Yes. Right. So to have a place to be able to bring them is really interesting and cool. And and one of the things is you hope as people get to We're experience the this, there's more people motivated to create these for people because there's not yes. that many across the state right. either. Um, mm-hmm. But for people to be able to experience it through a program, which will involve also the animals, yeah, um, that's when you reach out to education at rescueranch.com is the easiest way to do that because all of our programs goes that through again. education. Let's just say that again. It's an email address and it's education at rescueranch.com. Awesome. And awesome. so that is yeah. that will go through our education program. We'll be able to understand the needs of that group and best design the program that's suited for them. Also know when we have availability, which is yeah. a, a, always a big piece of that. And then um, as the, we are working currently with the playground to figure out a way to make it more accessible beyond just our programming at this point. Long term, our campus will be one that people will be able to access on more of that drop-in facil- or ability. But right now... Um, being a private facility and things like that, liability, waivers, all these oh. fun things that <laughs> all these everybody, business the business part um, of it. <laughs> you know, there are, there are steps that we have to take place. So definitely by June 3rd, all of that will be in place. So, and the information will be readily available for people to know how to do it. That's really but that June 3rd date, quick. we just want people to come out to touch and feel and experience it. <laughs> take a ride down that zip cruise. Right. <laughs> yes. And, and all those great things. So, yeah. but yeah, that is the exciting thing about this playground. That's exactly why it'll be yeah, so I, helpful. I, Just we I, want it to be there for the greater it, community and for several organizations to come out, think about how right. they can incorporate a trip out to Rescue Ranch in their programs. We and want it to be used. It just creates an extension of that humane education, compassion I, programming yes. to right. a different way. I, right. I watched uh, Cornelius Park and Rex put mm-hmm. together a playground right off of um, Catawba yep. Avenue. Oh, yeah. And they did a spectacular mm-hmm. job of really a creative playground. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I talked to, to the park and rec director he said by far it is the most successful thing that they have done for adults yes mm-hmm. and oh, absolutely children. this really mm-hmm. is it's all inclusive we love to say kids of all ages we've yeah. had programming <laughs> right up to 90 year olds we, so. we can go joe it's our field trip time <laughs> so, yeah. you can do a remote whatever you want to do yeah. put that ladies, gopro thank- camera right on your phone <laughs> and go down ladies thank you so much um thank you. before we leave because in the second half we're going to talk to leadership of statesville do you want to say something about them putting this program together because uh, quite frankly we wouldn't have known about this if it but it hadn't been for, for julie putting this together 
together. So, yeah. yes. so that relationship I know is really important for you guys. It is. We, you know, like I said, it's part of the reason why we moved our deadline up. We wanted to have the chance to work with them. Um, we did not want to pass up this opportunity. Um, just knowing that they would be great, you know, advocates out in the community for us, having all the contacts and it's been wonderful. It really has. They've really helped us more deeply engaged with the community. We're talking to companies now. Um, I'm setting up a workplace giving campaign with Lake Norman Realty, you know, one of one of the, the contributors to their campaign. They've brought in, I think it's like 80 donors and 75 wow. gifts. And Joe, we've and been most proud. of those brand new, I have to say. That's we've right. been new. proud That's members right. of the chamber since we yeah. opened um, here <clears> in Statesville. So we've done a lot with them. And so the opportunity to work with one of their programs. So intimately and you know side by side on this on this piece of the playground is just it's a great opportunity for us